Great virgin old-growth forests with huge canopy trees once blanketed the New England landscape. Home to gray wolves, black bears, barred owls, and woodland caribou. Beginning with European settlement in the 1600s, the land was cleared for homes, farmland, and timber. Within 200 years, New England's ancient forests were all but gone, and much of the native wildlife disappeared. A few isolated or inaccessible stands barely escaped destruction. Today in New England, old-growth forests make up just 0.2% of the forested land. Most are now conserved on public lands or by nonprofits, such as the Nature Conservancy. But much more needs to be done to restore and protect these ancient forests for future generations. What is an old-growth forest? Old growth is a forest with large canopy trees that are at least 150 years old. In New England old growth, the most common large tree species include eastern white pine, eastern hemlock, oaks, maples, American beech, white ash, and yellow birch. The trunks of old growth trees often lack lower branches, an indication that they grew in deeply shaded forest. They are large in diameter, typically 30 inches or more, and the bases can be markedly buttressed. Some have knobby, burled, or otherwise misshapen trunks. Old-growth trees betray their advanced age with antique bark that is deeply furrowed or shaggy. In old-growth forests, large fallen logs and standing deadwood are abundant. The forest floor undulates with pits and mounds, the decaying remnants of ancient tip-overs, when trees toppled and were ripped out at the roots. Undisturbed conditions over long periods of time allow for the accumulation of thick, organic-rich soil and the growth of abundant fungi, lichens, and herbaceous plants. In the moist shade of these forests, dense carpets of mosses blanket the ground, and even colonize tree trunks.